Hello everyone, this is Chris uh, from Verb, and today we'll be learning how to use our custom MetaHuman template. You need to make sure that you have uh, Unreal Engine uh, downloaded and set up on your uh, Windows machine. Apart from that, you will also need the support for C++ um, development, and that there is a you know perfect documentation for that uh, on the Unreal Engine page. So just feel free uh, to go through it. Make sure that you definitely have this .NET desktop developer C++ um, tools installed on your machine, especially game developer. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, you obviously have to download our custom MetaHuman template, which you can find on the, on the drive, which is provided in documentation. And apart from that, obviously also has to, uh, you have to download the kiosk app uh, to the most recent version, uh, currently it's 0 0.9.15. So yeah, so once you uh, un uh, unzip the custom MetaHuman template, you obviously just and you know you have your Unreal Engine installed. It's usually uh, then it changes the icon to this Unreal Engine, and you just open it. It will take a couple of uh, seconds before it just loads and compile all the necessary shaders. Uh, but that's the first step. So we have to wait here for a bit. Okay, so here we are in the Unreal Engine editor. So uh, when you open the template, don't worry, it just opens the untitled scene. Uh, nothing uh, strange about it. So obviously you need to, you know, first download your MetaHuman. And to do that, you obviously just need to open Quixel Bridge. Uh, when you open the Quixel Builder account, if you don't see this My MetaHuman tab, obviously you just need to make sure that you log into your account again. And you know, once you find and download your MetaHuman, you obviously just need to uh, click Export, uh, which will start importing your uh, MetaHuman to the current Unreal Engine project. So you can verify whether it succeeded by just opening the content drawer. And if you see the MetaHuman, uh, folder with uh, your MetaHuman, uh, then the next step would be to actually open the um, uh, Verb Wizard plugin. So you can do that by going to Window and clicking the Verb Wizard. And you will see uh, our web, uh, Verb Wizard plugin. And you know the first step would be to actually uh, finding your uh, MetaHuman that you just uh, recently imported. Uh, in my case, it's Verb Chris. Uh, it will automatically populate the boy, body and face component names, but in case you were using some modified version of the MetaHuman, you obviously have to uh, choose appropriate uh, components uh, to your particular model. And then, you know, so you just need you just you want to change the name because that's the name that will be later on used in the uh, in a kiosk app. So you might want to change it to you know to the name of your MetaHuman. Um, then, you know, important but not necessary step is adding a thumbnail for, for the kiosk. Uh, it's usually I try to do that because then it's easier to identify your uh, MetaHuman later. The easiest way to actually get your um, thumbnail is actually going back to the Quixel bridge, uh, clicking, clicking right click on your uh, MetaHuman and hitting go to files. This will open you uh, the uh, MetaHuman uh, folder from an engine, and it will usually have some sort of strange of strange names. You can obviously verify whether it's that's uh, the the file that you want. Uh, but once you once you do, then you just copy copy it, and then probably you would want to actually import it into the content folder. Uh, in my case, it's Verb Chris, the one that I've just recently exported. And obviously, it's better if you just uh, make sure to change the name so it's easier to, to uh, find it later. Okay, so once you have this uh, in your content MetaHumans uh, folder, then you can go back to Unreal Engine. It will actually detect that there was a new file imported uh, into the folder. So you just click Import, and that's how you can make sure that it's um, actually detected by content. Uh, editor. So yeah, so once you do, then you can once uh, go to the thumbnail and try to find this texture. Yeah. So this is the 
the thumbnail that you will see uh, once you load this uh, custom meta human into the kiosk project. So yeah, so that's the uh, the this, the next step. Um, then you know, obviously the blueprints. You have like settings for two blueprints, one for face. Uh, there is only one at the moment, but in case you were to modify it by and you know adapting it to your own uh, animation clips, uh, then you might want to actually select the, the, the proper one, the one that you uh, modified. In my case, I don't have any other. And uh, yeah, that's the first step. The second one would be to choosing uh, animation blueprint for body. And we actually have uh, four predefined blueprints available uh, for both female and male and informal and informal version. In my case, I will stick with this uh, default male formal body animation system. Uh, then the last uh, step uh, would be to actually also name the package that you will later see um, in the folder uh, once it's exported. So the once you you know filled out all the fields uh, that we have here, here, you first need to click Run Setup Wizard. You will see it starts, uh, you know, uh, processing then the model uh, in the background. So you once again need to wait for a moment. And if you are successful, you will see this mes message uh, on your screen as well. That's the first step. You will see that there was a change here. So now in the packaging section, you already have this uh, MetaHumans to package filled out with this uh, blueprint of your um, uh, of your MetaHuman. Uh, you might want to verify it, so you can click this browse asset in a content registry, and you can see that uh, you know it's properly selected. You might want to click it uh, because just to check whether everything works in the uh, inspector. And you can see that, you know, the blueprint was already modified. There is extra lighting, character lighting here. There is um, on the body and the face, you have uh, the animation blueprints that we selected in the, the wizard. So obviously that's also the place that right now you might want to change some of the things. So in case you want to maybe change lighting, color, anything like that, you might want to do it before you actually uh, go to the next step and you can do that. You can also, you know, attach additional clothing, accessories to your model. And if you do it under this root, uh, blueprint root, then everything will also load later in the kiosk app. So once you have uh, all of that ready, then just click the run package creator. It will actually open the uh, terminal uh, in the background. So you might want to verify this on your list. This will go through uh, the processing of your MetaHuman uh, and it will prepare the pack file. So once again, you need to wait uh, for a couple of moments, uh, verify the status uh, of the cooked packages. Um, depending on the size of your model, it might take longer than in my case. And once you do, you should see the pop-up, which hopefully will be available in just a couple of seconds. Yes, perfect. So see, you have uh, already the, the package uh, location. So obviously you just need to save it, but obviously it's uh, located in your folder uh, under the, the root folder, package metahuman, the name of your package, and then the pack file. So the last step, is to actually copy uh, this file into the kiosk app that you download also from our uh, Google Drive. And you should just uh, open in the kiosk catalog, content, packs, and just uh, add it, copy paste it here uh, alongside all the other. Uh, go back to the root folder and just open kiosk you will see um, that it opens up the MetaHuman. Oh, at the beginning, it will use the default model. So you might want to switch um, to one of the default configuration, for instance, if you want to test the male character. And then uh, on the list on the right, you will see your custom MetaHuman loaded. 
So we are really looking forward to see uh, what kind of metahumans uh, you will create. And yeah, that's all for today.